we are going to solve all these question answers from this NCRT book. How do you account for the formation of ethane during chlorination of methane? Dear students, methane chlorination follows free radical reaction. Chlorine in presence of light is going to form chloromethane. So how do you account for the formation of ethane during chlorination of methane? So this ethane upon chlorination in presence of light free radical reaction is going to take place where the intermediate is methyl free radical is going to be formed during the reaction mechanism. This methyl free radical reacts with another free radical of methyl to give ethane. That is how you are going to get ethane. Right? IUPAC names of the following compounds. IUPAC nomenclature follows. So the first rule is choose the longest chain. 1, 2, 3 and this is 4 and 1 methyl is here. Right? So what is the name? 2 methyl. So the substituent must get lowest number 2 methyl 2 butene. Next, this is what is the nomenclature? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 carbon is pentane. So pent 1 in and 3 in. This is 1, 3 butadiene students. Buta 1, 3 diene. This is 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 phenyl but 1 in. What is this? Arthochrysal 2 methyl phenol. So F compound 1 and 4 carbon chain is here. 5, 2 methyl propyl. This is 2 methyl propyl group. 5, 2 methyl propyl decane. And when it comes to here, 1, 4 ethyl deca, 1, 5, 8 triene. Yes, for the following compounds, write structural formulas and IUPAC names for all possible isomers having the number of double or triple bond as indicated. Yes, you can write one double bond. What are the compounds? You can write it as buta 1 in and buta 2 in, buta 2 methyl propene. Yes, so this is but 1 in and this double bond I can write here buta 2 in and other possible structure is here I can write this methyl group here that is 2 methyl propene. And when it comes to one triple bond compound, yes, you can write it as pent 1 in. So if the triple bond is, if I write here, it is going to pent 2 in. Or I can write this methyl group on this carbon, it is going to be 3 methyl but 1 ion. So, 3 structures are possible. Write IUPAC names of the products obtained by the ozone analysis of the following compounds. The pent 2 in. If I break here, what I am going to get? So, estaldehyde and this side it is going to be propanaldehyde. 3 in is here. 1, 2, 3 in. Let us write 3 in. 3, 4 dimethyl. 3, 4 dimethyl, right? So, 1, 2, 3, break here. You are going to get 1, 2, 3, 4. Means here 2 butanone. 2 butanone here. Just add oxygen here. 2 butanone. You are going to get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, 2 pentanone. 2 butanone and 2 pentanone you are going to get from this 3, 4 dimethyl after 3. 2 ethyl but 1 in. Two, what is the chain? 1, 2, 3, 4 carbon. 1 in. Let us write 1 in here and 2 ethyl, 2 ethyl here. If I do the ozonolysis, this is 2 ethyl, but is going to be give this side formaldehyde or methanol and this side it is going to be epentanone. Yes, 1 phenyl, but 1 in, 1 phenyl, 1 in. If I break here, you are going to get benzaldehyde and it is propanol. And alkane A on ozone analysis gives a mixture of ethanol and pentane 3 one Right structure and IUPAC name of A. Ethanol and pent 3 one What is the compound just now? We did this. 3 pentanone. What is the IUPAC name of this compound? It is going to be 3 ethyl pent 2 in. Next. And alkene A contains 3 CC single bonds, 8 CH sigma bonds, and 1 CC pi bond. A on ozone analysis gives 2 moles of an aldehyde of molar mass 44. Write IUPAC name of A. It is nothing but but 2 in. But Just break here. It is going to give ethanol. Molecular weight is 44. So IUPAC name is but 2 in. Is the answer stress. Next. Propanol and pent 3 on upon ozone analysis produce products of an alkene. What is the structure formula of the alkene? Propanol and pent 3 on. So just now we prepared. Propanol, pentione. Let us write pion and propanol. So propanol. This is the ozone analysis starting material. So before ozone analysis, this is the compound. What is the IUPAC name of this? 
फोर इथाइल एक्स टू थ्री इन इज आई पैगने राइट केमिकल इक्वेशन फॉर कंबशन रिएक्शन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग हाइड्रोकार्बन जस्ट नाउ वॉट आई सेट सो द कंबशन फॉर्मुला सी एक्स वाई प्लस वाई बाय टू ऑक्सीजन दिस इज अ फॉर्मुला इट इज गोइंग टू गिव एक्स ओ टू कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड प्लस वाई बाय टू वाटर मॉलिक्यूल यस कैन राइट डाउन द इक्वेशन फॉर ऑल दिस ब्यूटेन सो सी फोर एच टेन सो what you are going to get here h10 means 4 co2 it is fine then water molecules what is the water molecules so directly you can write like this y by 2 is 5 water molecules you are going to get what about here 4 4 ja 16 plus 10 26 by 4 20 13 by 2 13 by 2 oxygen it is going to be 13 by 2 yes pentene pentene what is the formula c3 5 10 Yes, so five means four five is twenty. Thirty by four. Thirty by four is nothing but fifteen by two. Here it is five H two O, isn't it? Next, hexane. This is alkyne. It is going to be C six H two N minus two. So to ten. Ten you are going to get here. What is the formula here? Twenty four plus thirty four by four means seventeen by two. So toluene. Toluene. How many carbons are there? C seven and uh, hydrogens. Five hydrogens are from benzene and three hydrogens of methyl group. Eight. Here, what is the formula? Seven CO two, and this is twenty-eight plus eight. Twenty-eight plus eight, thirty-six by four. Thirty-six by four means eight by two. Eighteen by two means nine. So nine O two. This is nine O two. Is going to give toluene means seven CO two plus. It is going to give four water molecules, isn't it? Eight by two is four water molecules. This is how you can write the combustion reactions. It is very very important, students. It has been asked in JEE mains and your board exams. Next, draw the cis and trans structures of X two in which isomer will have higher boiling point and why? It is this is cis compound. Yes, students. So please remember because of polarity, this cis compound is more stable and it is going to be high boiling point. Cis compounds are High boiling point compound. So this compound is going to be more stable because of polarity. Next, why is benzene extraordinarily stable though it contains three double bonds? Why? It is because of resonance stabilization. So aromatic nature. What are the necessary conditions for any system to be aromatic? What are the three principles? The first principle is planar, and the second one is continuous resonance double bond, and then the third one is Huckel's rule. That is consisting of four n plus pi electron explain why the following systems are not aromatic yes so the three principles are planar continuous delocalization four n plus two pi electrons so any one of these three conditions are not matched then it is not going to be aromatic compound so what is this 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 means six pi electrons one condition is match what about this planar what is a hybridization of this carbon it is sp3 hybridized sp3 hybridization is tetrahedral it is not going to be planar so the first condition is not matched so this is not aromatic when it comes to cyclopentadiene so what is this it is sp3 first condition is not matched and what about second condition so there is no continuous delocalization what is third condition 1 2 3 4 4, 4 pi electrons only so All three conditions are not matched, so this is not aromatic. What about this? So it is planar. All are sp2. First condition is matched. Delocalization, yes, it is possible. But how many pi electrons are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, eight pi electrons containing compound is not going to be aromatic. It is, so it is not aromatic. How will you convert benzene into para nitro? Bromo benzene. Just if I take nitro benzene, bromination will take place at meta position. But we are in need of para nitro bromo benzene. That is why what I should do? First take benzene, then do bromination. It's going to give bromo benzene. That bromo benzene upon nitration, we are going to get the mixture of ortho and para. However, ortho is formed very less because this bulk group nature it is not going to allow ortho position. And para nitro you are going to be get as major product. 
so first take benzene and do first bromination followed by nitration then meta nitro chlorobenzene now what will you do if you want meta nitro chlorobenzene this time it is meta position that means you have to take nitro benzene then do the chlorination because if i take chlorobenzene and do nitration it is going to give para similar to first example it is meta nitro take benzene and do first nitration followed by chlorination this is how you will get meta chloro nitro benzene it is very very important students if i take first chlorobenzene then do nitration it is going to form para nitro chlorobenzene para nitro toluene what is para nitro toluene how will you make so first do the methylation by philtrops alkylation then do nitration to give para position what about this acetophenol directly take benzene and do the philtrops acylation you are going to get acetophenol in the alkene identify primary secondary tertiary carbon atoms and give the number of hydrogen atoms bound into each one of this yes you can write the structure and uh, on this what effect does branching of an alkene chain has on its boiling point dear students it is very very important concept as the more the branching take place it is going to have low boiling point yes so for example if i write five carbon exists when i compare this pentane n pentane isopentane two to dimethyl ethane these are isomers of pentane so what is the boiling point of this it is n pentane it is about 36 degree centigrade isopentane it is about 5 degree centigrade it is almost gas less than 0 degree centigrade because as the more branching take place it is going to have low boiling point yes because of this chain is going to have less boiling point it is highly volatile in nature next addition of hbr to propene yields two bromo propane while in the presence of benzyl peroxide the same reaction yields one bromopropane explain and give mechanism what happens during peroxide effect it is also known as tarash effect so the free radical formed is going to anti marconi cops product where you are going to get one bromopropane instead of two bromopropane because of tarash effect write down the products of ozonolysis of one two dimethyl benzene orthoxylene how does the result support kekulé structure for benzene Yes, students. You can write down the methyl. All the double bonds you are going to get different products of ozonolysis. Wherever the double bond is here, you can break here, 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 here. Number of compounds you are going to get. And actually, what is it? So once you can put double bond here, and next structure you can put double bond like this here. Double bond here. This time ethyl here and methyl here. You can break all double bond. however you are going to get all these compounds students whatever the compounds you are going to get is here one two propanol here also propanol here glyoxal you are going to get right so when i break here time you are going to get 24 butanone 24 dione you are going to get at this place so this is how it is going to match next arrange benzene enhexane and ethane in decreasing order of acidic behavior also give reason for this behavior alkynes are acidic friends then followed by benzene the more the s character the compound is going to be acidic so ethane is sp hybridized benzene is sp2 hexane is sp3 so ethane followed by benzene followed by hexane why does benzene undergoes electrophilic substitution easily and nucleophilic substitution with difficulty because it is already electron excess compound so it undergoes electrophilic substitution reaction next how would you convert the following compounds into benzene ethane ethane is nothing but acetylene upon passing through red hot copper tube or iron tube at high temperature about 600 degree centigrade or 873 kelvin you are going to get benzene ethene yes so ethene what you have to do is first make it as acetylene how will you make so do the bromination you are going to get 1 2 dibromo ethane that, that 1 2 dibromo ethane upon elimination you are going to get 1 bromo ethylene 1 bromo ethylene further elimination of bromine it is going to form ethane that is acetylene next quickly you can do the uh, cyclization using red hot copper tube to give benzene and hexane yes 
you can heat them in presence of catalysts like chromium trioxide and vanadium pentoxide at high temperature at about 10 to 20 atmosphere you are going to get benzene right structures of all the alkenes which on hydrogenation give two methyl butane yes you can write this uh, hydrogenation what you are going to get two methyl butanein two in and one three methyl butanein you can get this butane Right. Arrange the following set of compounds in order of their decreasing relative re reactivity with an electrophile. Dear students, so activating deactivating concept holds good here. Chlorobenzene, 2 for dinitrobenzene, para nitro chlorobenzene. Chlorobenzene is activating group, so it easily undergoes electrophilic substitution. 2 for dinitro chlorobenzene is very tough to undergo this. Para nitro chlorobenzene. So they are asking decreasing order. So you can write it like this chlorobenzene followed by para nitro chlorobenzene followed by for dinitro chlorobenzene. Toline para methyl nitrobenzene and para nitro para nitro benzene. It is very tough to undergo electrophilic substitution because these nitro groups are meta directing groups, isn't it? For example, if I write this nitro here. So this is ortho to here. If I do electrophilic substitution here, it is ortho to here. So this para nitro benzene may not undergo electrophilic substitution even under high temperature also, right? So the decreasing order is toline easily undergoes followed by para nitro toline followed by para dinitro benzene. Yes, out of benzene, meta dinitro benzene and toline which will undergo nitration most easily and why? So benzene, meta dinitro and toline. So which is going to undergo very easily nitration? Toline. Yes, toline is activating group. So toline undergoes very easily compared to even benzene also. And meta dinitro it is already nitrated. So um, taking place another nitration is very tough. So lot of heating is required. Suggest the name of a Lewis acid other than anhydrous aluminum chloride which can be used during ethylation of benzene. Yes, so Lewis acids you can use aluminum chloride, ferric chloride, ferric bromide. You can use a number of Lewis acids. Even tin chloride also you can use. Why is Wood's reaction not preferred for the preparation of alkanes containing odd number of carbons atoms? Illustrate your answer by taking example. So this question was asked in different way in NEET 2020. So odd number alkanes, for example, if I take propane, so this is chloro, propane, and if chloro, butane, and do Wood's reaction, I am going to get, this is odd number starting metal, odd plus R3 plus 3, what is the chain I am going to get? Hexane here, right? Sodium, 2 sodium, minus sodium, sodium chloride, so I am going to get even chain, even butyl group, 4 plus 4, what I am going to get? Yight. So the chain what I am going to get is even number chain. However, if I want to make odd number, if I want to make this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So what I have to take? I have to take this propyl chloride and butyl chloride. However, if I do mix these two compounds, starting compounds, what is going to be the major products? I will get the mixture of this hexane and octane instead of this heptane or I can get mixture of these three compounds. So odd number containing compounds are not going to be prepared following Wood's reaction. This is how you can do the number of excess followed by hydro from hydrocarbon chapter. Dear students, please write your comments or questions if you have any doubts during these exercises so that I will answer later also after this video description. Dear students, I have explained all alkenes, alkenes, alkynes in detail on whiteboard and the aromatic compound just now I explained from this textbook. Anyhow, if you have any questions, I am going to give description of all these chapters. Please write your comments and don't forget to click on like button and don't forget to subscribe to Venus Academy for more videos on chemistry. Bye students, we will meet again with a new chapter. Till then, bye. Have a nice day.